Okay. Today we're opening a Barbie camper. See that? And do you know I have this in my hand because we're opening it. So let's start opening. Hey to YouTube, today I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys another unboxing video. So the tax return is gone, the family got a bunch of things and I went ahead and restocked up and replaced a bunch of things that I'll go ahead and share with you guys today. Um, outside of today I do have one more unboxing, I just thought I'll do that one in a separate video. And then uh, after these two it'll probably start to be just like, uh, if we continue with the unboxing videos, just smaller purchases. But uh, for those of you who are interested in a value, um, I want to say maybe just a little bit over $300 worth of stuff but let's go ahead and hop into it and I'll show you guys what I got so if you're not tracking already a bunch of things were taken from me uh, and it was basically a tackle bag around this size just filled with stuff so a lot of the stuff I got was just things to replace what was taken or things that will be needed for this upcoming season that I, that I didn't have but I picked up a spider wire tackle bag uh, this one will hold up to four thirty seven hundred size Plano boxes uh, normally I only carry like three and I'll throw my terminal tackle just transfer my stuff from my kayak over to it but I did recently not recently but I did meet someone here uh, Paul who has a boat and has taken me out a few times and prior to that that other bag I think I had for like two years and all I did was sit in my garage and hold some of my uh, tackle but I found it very beneficial when going out with him on the boat as far as transferring my stuff from the house to his boat um, so I decided to go ahead and replace it and pick up a new one. Uh, I'm also planning on doing some boating tournaments as a non-boater with uh, Umpqua Valley Bassmasters. So I was like, yep, definitely need to replace it and chose to go with this one here. Now it did come with four 3700 size boxes in it. No idea what brand they are, but I personally don't really like them. They are brand new and I thought I'll give them away to you guys. So that'll be possibly this week a video. I'll be uh, making a video of that so you guys can actually uh, participate in that giveaway. And then I figured, since I don't have many trout, panfish type lures that I was planning on giving away, uh, I figured I'll just combine those, the 3700 size boxes plus what gear I have as far as for uh, that giveaway, which will be sometime this week. But um, it's definitely a nice bag, can't wait to use it, possibly be using it this week if not later in the future. But uh, there's some things in here just that I just threw in here so I can make it easier to bring it over to the couch to show you guys some other things that I picked up. So uh, this here is actually a giveaway I won. Uh, this is from Mustang Survival. I believe there's only a few days left in it. It was a 50 day giveaway each day. They had different items uh, from Mustang Survival. And I think I won the 39th day or something like that. But let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys what I got. It is, I believe it's a beanie, fleece cap or whichever you would like to call it. But uh, I believe there's still a few more days left if you're interested in that particular giveaway. You can uh, get on to it by going to their Facebook page or to their Instagram page. I found that most of their giveaways I've been finding on Instagram and then I think I've done a, one or two of them from their Facebook page. But yeah, it's like a, a skull cap or something. And it's got the Mustang logo there on the back. You can see that. I'm not really a big skull cap type of guy. So definitely grateful to them for sending this out to me and offering that giveaway. I'll probably see if one of my kids want it and give it to them. If none of them want it, maybe I'll throw this away uh, in the giveaway as well. Um, let's see. So that tackle bag that was taken from me. Uh, I've replaced all the boxes that were in there and this was the last box that I needed to replace. This is the Plano Elite 3700 box for spinner baits. Uh, normally it comes with a third row but if you watched, uh, I can't remember which video it was, you would have seen my existing, my older boxes on how I had them set up and once I get into some of these other boxes I'll be able to fill this up the way I like to carry it which is usually uh, trailers, trailer hooks and then I also got some size 5 gold Colorado blades in there too help with this uh, really muddy waters I've been dealing with here. Um, unfortunately with what was taken I had my spinner baits and chatter baits uh, quarter three-eighths half ounce and uh, well they're all gone 
Uh, haven't replaced all of them yet, but thankfully I constantly am buying lures. I never, never this large. Usually I'm just only going out and buying a bag or, or a lure here and there, and uh, it's just kind of built up. So 3/8 size is the size I throw the most. So thankfully I had a ton of those still here at the house that weren't taken from me. So as you can see here, I already have spinner baits filled up as well as chatter baits all in 3/8, and I still had a couple half ounce poison I believe from striking chatter baits. Um, type of chatter baits that are already stocked in there to help me out for this upcoming season. Now, I, I, I don't think I'm going to replace the quarter ounce ones. I do like half ounce though, so I'll probably end up buying some more of those just to, you know, have them when they're needed. But definitely a nice box. It's uh, made for straight spinner baits, but you could fit chatter baits in there as well. If you're interested in something like this, if you're having issues with trying to store your spinner baits, uh, they sell this at Tackle Warehouse and they have a, another version where you can have your two spinner bait rows and throw in chatter baits like I did. And then the third row is for buzz baits. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this already, but I've left everything, just about everything in the bag so I can share it with you guys on video. But I got some L's Goldfish hook bonnet, just to go into trouble hooks. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you I think it's called what in your tack, what's in your tackle box video, you would have seen that I got a lot of extra crankbaits and stuff, and I can't stand when I go in there and I'm trying to pull one out and I gotta, I gotta just untangle them. Uh, this is one option. You can also do like uh, hair ties, really small hair tie rubber bands, which is much cheaper and it's another method. But a buddy of mine down in Louisiana, um, he had these, and I, I've been saying I was gonna get them for some time now just haven't done it but my local sportsman had these in stock so it was, it was an easy purchase and I didn't have to worry about shipping and handling to order those and I actually got two more of these larger sized ones but I already opened them up and started putting them on some of my crankbaits so now with the paddle tails I've started with zoom then I went to reaction innovations and then not until I actually got here to Oregon did I start throwing Kitech and then when I was there, some of the colors at Sportsman that I was interested in, they didn't have in Kitech, and they had a larger selection of Strike Kings Rage Tail Rage Swimmers. So I figured I would try them out, and these are 3.75, and I got two packs of each color. Let's see here. Let's see if this will help contrast so you guys can see them. So let's see, the one on your left would be Electric Shad, and then on your right is Pro Blue. So I'll be using these as a standalone swim bait uh, and also as chatterbait trailers. So I, I figured the Pro Blue probably would put it on like a white uh, spinner bait or like a silver colored spinner bait. And then the, what was it called? Electric Shad would throw it on like my watermelon, green pumpkin ones to kind of go for that blue, uh, I'm sorry, bluegill imitation. But with those pro blue, I think, you know, I think I might be able to mimic some of the trout if I just pair it up right with a decent colored chatter bait or spinner bait possibly even to help mimic the actual uh, trout. Uh, as far as local bodies of water, I only have shad in one body of water, and that is the Umpqua River. Other than that, all my forage is trout, uh, yellow perch, and various different species of panfish, such as your bluegill and crappie, things like that. Okay, getting into the unboxing. So now I ordered this one separate the same time I ordered this one, but I decided to order it separate because it says that you know, it's ground uh, ground shipment only. And I was like, man, I don't want to have to wait for everything else just because of this one small item. And I figured if I ordered them separate, this one can be ground shipped and come in whenever. And I get the larger box, you know, at a quicker, you know, much faster. And this box actually came in a day early. But what I picked up was some Mend It. I'll go ahead and actually open it so maybe you can see it better. Majority of you, I'm sure, already know what this is, but for those of you who don't, let me open it so you can get a better visual of it. Definitely well packaged. It doesn't feel as if it leaked at all.
but went ahead and picked up some mended. So now that I'm getting into swim baits, you know, they are, they are expensive and uh, just to help prolong those as well as other plastic baits, you know, it just helps repair or keep uh, in good condition your swim baits and other different types of plastic lures. Um, I did pick up some really cheap stuff at Lowe's that I'm going to be trying out as a cheaper alternative. It's, it's not really that expensive, but you know, as a cheaper alternative or easy replace or restocking, I got some other stuff. I can't remember the name, but I picked it up at Lowe's for like $2 and some change. But I'm, I'm going to start off on some old used plastics and see how that works. And then if it works good, I'm going to test it on a more expensive swim bait. And depending on how it works out, uh, I'll let you guys know and I'll make a video. Whether it works out or not, I'll make the video. So, you know, one of you don't possibly make the same mistake if it doesn't work and try it out yourself and go directly to something like an expensive hut or something like that. Okay, so this box here I actually opened, but I, I left or I put everything back in. I took out a few things to make a picture for what is it, my second to my last video, just so I can have a, um, a nice picture for a what's it called, an icon for that particular video. But this is a tackle warehouse box, and let's see what I picked up was ordered myself a tackle warehouse sweatshirt because it is still cold here in Oregon. Now it's not that bad, it's been averaging in the 40s lately and then in the uh, at night, you know, it's been in the 30s and very rarely lately has it dropped into the 20s. Um, let's see, as far as the free shirt for it being over 150, it was a navy blue color uh, at this time of the month, this period, whatever. Not a big fan of navy blue, so I got it in a size medium so my son could have it, keep it bent junior. And then picked up some more leader line, vicious 17 pound fluorocarbon. I replaced the one that was taken from me. Uh, I was running pretty, I'm still pretty low. I figured I'll pick up one of those. Um, let's see what else we got here. So for that spinnerbait box on that empty side, this is something I like to keep in there. Some zoom split tail trailers in white and chartreuse. Uh, for my spinner baits, I usually go with no trailer or with split tail trailers. And then with my chatter baits, I'll go with like paddle tails and stuff as far as trailers, but don't have any more, so I had to replace them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Picked up some watermelon candy shaky head worms. And let's see. This is just the standard size one, and I believe I ordered the bigger ones as well. Yeah, watermelon red, mag shaky head, and I believe they're like 10 inches long or something like that. So what is this? Watermelon candy and watermelon red flake here on the bottom, both shaky head worms. You know what guys, I never caught a shaky head worm until I moved here to Oregon. Um, I did try them a few times down there in Louisiana, and it seemed like all I was catching was grass. Uh, to go with those, I uh, went ahead and picked up, I'm sorry, picked up some owner football head uh, shaky heads, ultras. They are a four aught quarter ounce size to go with the shaky head worms. And then picked up some more of my favorite worms here. So let's see here, what do we got? Picked up two bags of watermelon candy old monster worm. These are a 10 and a half inch worm with a ribbon tail. Love these worms. Um, definitely had great success with them in Louisiana. And uh, before the winter chill got, uh, before the winter chill took over here, I was having good success with them here in Oregon as well. And then let's see, I got one, two, I think two or three different possible tournaments uh, at night. So I have the um, Umpqua Valley Bass Masters 10 Mile Lake Night Tournament that I want to do. Um, then let's see, there's two I believe for Oregon Kayak Bass Fishing. Um, I think there's one just as a challenge. And then I think there's another one, which is the wooden swim bait challenge night fishing tournament where you can only use wooden swim baits. And then God knows how many of the KBF uh, one night stand tournaments I'll be doing, but went ahead and picked up some more 10 and a half inch old monster in black emerald. 
Uh, I only have two night fishing videos out there, and the first one was horrible, the second one is okay. But the black emerald I found was uh, very efficient for night fishing, especially when you can't find black and blue, which is how I turned onto this, and now I just buy the black emerald for night fishing. Um, what else we got in here? Some Zoom, two bags of the same, and watermelon red flake. Let's see, Magnum trick worm, watermelon red, two of those. So you can see I like big worms. Uh, for worms, I definitely am a big fan of Zoom. Um, I do use other brands, but when it comes to worms, I, I really like Zoom brand. Okay, so we're getting down to the end of the box. Uh, I finally picked up a River to Sea S waiver, and uh, thanks to Matt Allen and Tim Little from Tactical Bassin's YouTube channel, they said if you're going to go with only one color, might as well go with light trout. And like I said earlier, the forage here, one of them is trout. So I picked up the 168 size uh, River to Sea S waiver and light trout color. Be giving that a try. Picked me up a Nether HUD 68. And this one is the Phantom Rainbow Gear. This one is, oh, I'm sorry, the Phantom Rainbow Trout. Uh, so it's pretty much like barely on like the top, very small portion. Is it somewhat solid? And then the rest of it is trim, translucent. Let me see if I can hurry up and get this open to show you guys. If you never bought a HUD before, guys, you can get them out without ripping the bags open, but man, it's a pain in the butt, so I just like ripping it right open since I'm not going to put it back in there. But let's see if that'll focus in for you guys. It's a nice translucent color. Once again, this is the HUD 68 Weedless and Phantom Rainbow Trout. And there's your hook right there. So now I have a exposed hook Rainbow Trout 68. And now I also have this weedless one. Definitely a softer plastic, which is good to allow for that compression to hook exposure. I like to throw that. Uh, I got one more HUD 68. This will be for a, I'm sorry, a HUD 6 inch in Rainbow Trout. Rate of Fall 5. This one's for you guys. Uh, this video here on this. Uh, I'm going to post before the other one mentioned previously, just because it's going to be time-based. Uh, not as you're probably thinking, but I'll get in more to it in the video I make for this giveaway, but uh, one of you could win this HUD 6-inch Rate of Fall 5 and a Rainbow Trout, and once you find out the specifics to it, you may or may not win not just this, but more than one swim bait. And then last I also went ahead and if you if you haven't seen his channel and you like saltwater fishing as well, you guys gotta check out Redfish uh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, just brain farted. What was his name? It's Ross. Redfish Ross. Oh my god, I can't believe I just brain farted his channel name. I'm sorry, Ross. But I'll put I'll put the name of his channel down here in the bottom. And I'll also put a link to his channel as well as Tactical Bastion if those of you have never actually checked them out. You can simply Google them or search them on YouTube, but I'll, I'll throw in a link also so you, can, you guys can check out their channels. But So Ross does a lot of saltwater fishing, hitting up speckled trouts and uh, redfish. And he's also started to expand a lot of his videos into bass fishing. And he started, one of his videos had the Matt Lures uh, bluegill. And man, he had a bass just tear that thing to pieces. Um, but lately, he's been catching a lot of fish on the HUD gill. And, and thank you, Ross. Uh, I, I, I had to go out and buy myself one also. But I went ahead and picked up a HUD gill. And it's a weedless also. You got your hook right there. You probably can't even see that. Let's see here. There's the hook right there. And nothing against Matt Lure's bluegill. But one hit from uh with when ross was using it and it tore it to pieces and as far as that i've seen within his videos oh, is it like four or five bass now already caught with the hut gill and it's still hanging in there strong uh, i can't remember the color of this one uh here we go i'll have to look it up i'll leave it down here to get the actual name if you guys like this particular color bluegill 
and just don't have the time to actually look it up outside of watching this video I'll put the name of the color just below now but all right you guys that completes my unboxing hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned I do have one more unboxing video coming up probably this week which will be from Wu Tungsten uh, let's see I have two giveaway videos coming up one on that HUD 6 inch um, and then also another giveaway this should, all, this should all be this week, if not carried into next week. And the other giveaway will be 437 hundred boxes. Don't know what brand they are. And then a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but some miscellaneous uh, lures that can be used for trout, bluegill cropping, things like that. But hope you guys enjoy. I got a mess here now. I got to clean up and edit this video. But until the next time, you guys take care and have a good day. Thank you.